everyone, Mr. Brush here. A couple things you gotta remember when using me, please. The following things you should know. Number one, rinse me gently. Number two, don't drown me. And number three, no bad hair day. Something to keep in mind is to make sure you're using the right brush for the right paint. So if you are using paint in a cup, you're going to want to use a bigger bristle brush. If I take magenta and dip it in the paint and paint, I'm painting gently. I'm also rinsing gently. I'm not splashing or making a big mess. Then I drag my hair along the cup to make sure I get extra water off and I want to make sure my bristles are nice and clean before I go into another color like blue. Now I can mix and make a new color, violet. If I'm going to paint with watercolor paints, I have to be different. I have to have softer bristles. That's when you're gonna look for me. I'm a watercolor brush. I have much softer bristles, but first I have to actually jump in the water before I jump in the paint. Now I have water in my hair I can jump into any color I want. Maybe I'll try yellow. Make sure you load up my bristles so I have plenty of paint on my bristles, but I'm not letting the paint get too sticky. I need it nice and smooth. And then I can paint with yellow. When I need a new color, what do I have to do? I have to rinse gently, spin around in the cup, and drag your bristles along the edge. Now I'm going to jump in blue. Does anybody know what color yellow and blue are going to make? If you said green, you're right. Wonderful. Please be sure when you're painting with me, you're not going to drown me. If you drown me, it will be very bad for me. This is what could happen. Ugh. And if you drown me and then paint with me and scrub my head on the paper, I get a very bad hair day. So please take good care of me. Thank you.